Okay, so here we go. We crossed that line. I just crossed that line. What I basically said is, you can say the name, whatever name you think is the most secret, sacred name, and you can prophesy and cast out devils and do miracles. And still not make it. Time out, Rav Yoshi. You're telling us that this little discourse that Messiah spoke right there, you're telling us that that discourse down there, that in all that he's saying, that you can be this, you can have the name, you can preach like you ain't got it tomorrow. Or you can talk about all the great things God's going to do for you. Yeah. And you still can miss it. In fact, those are the ones that are probably are going to miss it. I'm not trying to judge anyone out there. But the text is what the text says. And I, you know, I wanted to put out like a big long series on this, but I'm tired of it. I'm tired of wrestling with this issue. I'm tired of wrestling with it because, you know, there's going to be something, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I'm going to get people that are going to say, well, it just wasn't academic enough. Well, this other Tom Adina has, he puts out academic videos. And he just writes academic blogs and blah, blah, blah. I don't care. I mean, good on my Tom Adina. They're doing what, what they're told to do. They're doing what they're instructed to do. But I don't, I don't feel I need to do that. They're, you can't add to the master's words. I'm sorry. I mean, you can academize it all you want. If you need to do that intellectually, if you need to process it intellectually on a deeper level, if you need to know that, you know, when he said, you know, <laughs> as sacred namers would say, yeah, they were calling on Lord, Lord, and God, God. If you need to know what that word is, it's curious in the Greek, it's Adonai in the Hebrew, because Kuri is always translated Yehoveh in the English. yod heh vav -Heh. That's the, the four letters that they always translate Kuria, and Kuria meant, in the proper Greek understanding or Latin understanding of this word, it's a title that eventually came to the Caesars, meaning as, as it were, God on Earth. There's a really interesting book that was done on it, and I'll try and find it, and I'll put the link somewhere there. I'll put the link up so that you can uh, go check out the works of this man who did this exhausted study on the word curia and, and why, it w why it proves the divinity of Messiah because of what this word meant. At any rate, why is this so important? Why does it uh, come to this conclusion? How can I come to this conclusion and say to you that you can't just say this magical prayer and think you're in the kingdom of heaven? Because the scripture, Yeshua's own mouth said, many will come in that day and say, whatever sacred name you think, didn't we do all these qualifications? Why? You can't speak in tongues unless you've got the Holy Spirit. You can't prophesy unless you've got the Holy Spirit. Why? You can't raise the dead. You can't do miracles unless you've got the Holy Spirit. Yeah, well, there are going to be many people who come that day who did these things and says the sacred name and they're still not going to make it. And Why? Well, it's a misunderstanding in churchianity, Christiosanity, in the pagan-created religion of Catholicism, Catholic Catholicism, and the daughters that follow thereafter. Oh my God, I am really saying these things on video. I've just offended every Christian friend I've ever had. And I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm a not sorry Jew. And I'm not sorry. The text is what the text says, and it's time for you to take those blinders off your eyes. You know, if, if you ever seen The Water Boy? It's a great video. It's Mama, t Mama said. And the professor's like, you're an idiot. You know, that's not how that's done. Alligators didn't have anything to do with that. Well, you need to not be like The Water Boy in that sense. You need to take the blinders off your eyes. Christianity may have taught you, churchianity, Paulinianity may have taught you that all you have to do is profess this name. And bing, you're in little more to it than that. Now, I'm going to be labeled after this a Judaizer and a legalizer and whatever you want to call me, it's fine. Truth is the truth and you can't get away from it. You can try, <laughs> but it ain't going to help you to run. It's an old slang we, saying we used to say, don't run, you'll just die tired. And don't run from this truth. You will just be judged very tired. You'll be very exhausted and still have to face the same judgment. He said what he said. I believe he meant what he said. If he was going to undo what he said, that would make him no different than Muhammad and Allah. A bunch of bullcrap. And we know that 
Yeshua is not. He said, many will come on that day, they will profess these things, and they're still not going to make it to Malkut Shamaim. Because even though they profess the name and they've done these miracles, they put into practice breaking the Torah. I love how it says it. You worked at, until you got really good at, being in a state without or against my Torah. For those pastors that say, you know, God just wants us to love everybody. Well, he does. But he also wants you to keep the Torah. I mean, he said it. I didn't. If you don't like it, take it out of your Bible. You've already taken tons of scriptures out of context and taken them out of the Bible anyways. All these new modern translations. Get back to the Hebrew. <laughs> People say to me, you know, there's this New Age translation. I look at it and I tell them, look, man, to me, the Greek was a New Age translation. Latin Vulgate's a New Age translation. The King James is a New Age translation. If it isn't in Hebrew, it isn't right to me. Maybe because I'm Jewish, I don't make apologies for that. It's kind of like if you go and tell somebody Sun Tzu needs to be translated into Indian to truly understand the Hebrew or the, uh, the uh, Japanese concept. No. I don't have to translate it into Hindi. Try and keep it in the original text, and that's what I'm trying to say here. Keep the scriptures in the original text. And there are tons of Greek scholars who are going to say, well, this video has nothing to do with what I want to get to. But there are tons of Greek scholars who will say, oh, the, the first New Testament was written in the... Oh, I got a little... Got a little uh, Superman going on there. Da, da. It wasn't written in the Greek originally. It was written in the Hebrew. If you don't like it, tough. Going on. Because the Greek only verifies what I say. It's the Greek that says practices lawlessness. Or practices anomia. Which means to be in a state against and without the Torah. Anomia means to be against the Torah. So there are many preachers out there who go, Oh, you know, bless God. He just has these great plans for you. He just has these blessings for you. Yes, if you obey the Torah. Here's why. I had a hard time with this video, and I, and I had probably going on two and a half hours of video, but I just scrapped. It was all academic, and it was all, look here at the usage of this grammatically structured word. Look, I'm just going to give you the simple truth, because that's always the best. In Shemot, uh, Shashim, or Exodus 20, Adonai says, um, and Adonai spoke these words saying, I am yod heh thy Elohim, which brought thee out of the land of Mitzrayim, the house of bondage, the house of your bondage, actually. Thou shalt have no other elves before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or likeness thereof that is in heaven or above or on earth beneath or in the water under. Thou shalt not bow thyself to them nor serve them, for I am Yahweh, am a, a jealous El, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Hmm, very interesting phrase. And shewing, I love the King James, and showing mercy, kindness, chesed, to thousands of generations of them that love me and keep my Mitzvot. Well, you know, it's right here. Okay? It's right there. Love me and keep my mitzvot. I guess if Hashem never said anything like this, we could let that slide in Matthew. Can't let it slide, can we? I mean, there it is. There's our connection. I'll be back in the next video. Shalom.